Damaged nozzles end up costing a grower time and they end up costing them money in wasted product and reduced effectiveness. Uh, a lot of people don't think about nozzles, but there are three different kinds of damage for a nozzle. The first kind is a worn nozzle and you can't avoid it. It's what comes from spraying. It ends up creating an uneven application. It ends up releasing more product than the grower intended to. The next kind is uh, a distorted nozzle and that's when the grower decides to clean a nozzle with a wire brush or a toothpick and they don't like that very much. And it ends up cracking the nozzle or reducing more product than the grower intended. And then there's a plug nozzle. Uh, that comes from debris or product buildup, generally because it's a poor cleaning program. So when you're looking over your shoulder or down at the boom, it's really hard to tell if you've got damage. And the only way to really tell is to calibrate your nozzles regularly. Uh, we're advising now to replace your nozzles annually or when worn, whenever comes first. And the best way to know when to do that is to test their output. Uh, even new nozzles off the shelf we're finding can be out by as much as 15%, so don't trust them. The only real way to know if you're using a damaged nozzle is to test it, and inevitably replacing all your nozzles is a fraction of the cost of the waste that comes from damage.